I don't think I like this type of broccoli. It bolts really easily. The kids like to eat the flowers, but I mean, that's not really a broccoli head, is it? <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. So some things were flops. How, what are you supposed to do with that? I don't know. I wanted, oh yeah, and then see the Japanese beetles. I need to come out here with some soapy water and drown them all. That's why we specifically put up the bit bug netting and for, we didn't want um, caterpillars to get at them and completely destroy them. But see, my bug netting is too narrow for my rows and so the broccoli is horribly outgrowing it. It's very mangled and squished in there. And I don't, Greg wants me to just take it off and see what happens, but I'm kind of nervous and afraid. The onions are doing really well. My whole row of onions. My children are screaming, don't mind that. Um, our green beans are all flowering. That's really pretty. So we should expect some beans soon. I was gonna finish weeding this row here all the way down and plant more beans there so that when I decided I gave up on the broccoli, they could just kind of take over that space. And I realized I made a mistake here. This is my, I'll give you a whole long view of this row. This was my not so straight row of carrots. And I thought where I had put this stick in the ground right here is where I had ended the row. But then I realized later when these came up that this is actually just a different variety of carrot. So I think these were the storage carrots I planted the most of because they took longer. And these were more like the short term, I can't remember what they were called. I'll post the name on the bottom of the screen. Um, like the quick eating carrots here. But then I also planted celery, which isn't really doing much. And I don't know what happened to all of it because I must have double planted it. So I don't know if when the kids were helping weed, they pulled it out. But this is the only one that is still here. So, I don't know. But I think we planted, we started it way too late in the basement. And I think that's part of the problem is it never really got a good start. And so it's probably not going to do much. That If you've ever planted celery in your own garden, um, it's extremely potent. So we cut all the leaves off and saved them in a freezer bag and added them to soups over the winter. And it was delicious. So that's what we've got here. Um, and then broccoli, cabbage is on the end, which I noticed some of the heads are finally forming. We'll have to keep an eye on our green beans because they're all flowering. So soon we'll have beans and I'll need to replant so that we can have some for fresh eating, hopefully something to sell and um, then some to freeze for winter. So I'm not sure if you can see in here, we've got, I should probably take the row covers off and get in there to weed. I did some of the weeding, but it takes, <laughs> So much time and patience, and I don't always have that. But here's, I think this is one of the early varieties. Well, we've got a little head forming on our cabbage there. And then in between we had onions planted, which we, bunching onions, which we should probably pull out. Um, we can use those. Put my rocks back on here so bugs don't get underneath. But here's the onions. They're starting to form and they're looking really good. And these are the ones that I planted closer together. I was gonna have them be um, eaten as just green onions, but they kind of got away from us. We had such a long period of no rain and then it poured for like a week straight. So this is the beets intermixed with the radishes. And I really need to come through and pull out all of the radishes. They were so hot from the drought and they're all starting to bolt. So I'm gonna pull them all and maybe roast them because I've heard that um, they lose some of their heat when they're roasted. So I need to do that. And it looks like some of the beets are even ready. I don't know, this is crazy. Yeah, 
oh no maybe that's just radishes radishes that looks like look like beets <laughs> but I need to get the radishes out that is crazy how is that even possible that there's a radish that big yikes anyways I need to pull those out so that there's room for the beets to grow and I might even have to reseed the beets because I don't know if anything actually took and then this was supposed to be my herb area, but it kind of got overtaken because I didn't really till this the best. Um, but I've got some dill that's starting and we planted more because I didn't know if the stuff that this was direct seeded. So this was the first stuff that I initially planted in here. And then I started some in the basement and that's here, but it needs to be watered very desperately here and here. And... Um, here's some more over here. And then I can't remember what this is. This is either cilantro or parsley. I'm not sure. I think it, I think it's, mm, I'm not sure. I guess we could taste it. Yeah, it's cilantro. And then I had direct seeded some parsley down here, which was all of my seeds and no, almost none of it came up, but it's right in with the grass, so I can't even pull the grass out or I'll pull the parsley. This is doing good, although it's really slow. These are all basil. This one is more cilantro. And then this is oregano, which is awesome because I didn't have time to start oregano from seed. But I've got this one and there's some more. And then there's some more and I got it all for free. We went and picked strawberries and they had started a whole bunch of plants and said that they were full. And um, the weekend before we went and picked strawberries, they said that everything would be buy one, get one free. And then when we went, they said we could just have the plants because they were full and they desperately needed to be planted. Here's some parsley, some curly leaf parsley, which is just, I just got it for salads, but Got it all for free, that's awesome. And then our trellises, I've got peas on this side, which are starting to flower. And they're climbing up. Most of them are doing pretty well climbing. Um, let's see if we can get inside the trellis. I've got cucumbers over here, which I need to keep an eye on because I noticed that it was flowering. And then I noticed that we had some little tiny cucumbers on there. That's fun. The Japanese beetles are real sad here. Real bad. Real, real bad. Oh my goodness. What in the world has happened here? Oh my. Well, if you know what that is, I guess let me know. It's all black on the ground. What in the world? Some sort of a fungus or something. Huh. Yeah, leave a comment if you know what that is, because I've never seen anything like that before. I won't touch any other plants. Some bug of some sort, probably the Japanese beetles, is coming and eating all my plants, which is sad. This is my black magic kale that we started indoors and the rogue tomato plant that made its way right there in with the kale somehow. It was in the same cell block, so I just planted it. And then we've got Swiss chard over here, some here, that's bigger down here. And then I've got butter lettuce, which I need to pick and we need to eat because it's getting big. Um, we seeded carrots like, or uh, not carrots, sorry, cucumbers, like two or three times down here and they wouldn't grow and wouldn't grow. So I seeded them in the basement and they weren't growing either. I thought maybe my seeds were bad, but then some of them popped up. So we transplanted some out here. And those are really little, but I guess we'll have a long growing season of cucumbers. Here's more lettuce that I just transplanted out here. Which looks very thirsty. And then we've got um, some zucchini plants, which are have flowered, and there's some fruit growing on them. There's 
lots more flowers. There's another little one over there. And we've got our sunflowers, which I mostly planted just for fun because I like to look at them. The kids like to get their pictures. These are the mammoth sunflowers. They like to get their pictures next to them. So those are growing nicely. And I thought if we wanted to do something fun, we could just give the heads to our chickens, which I've heard you could do. We planted some flowers out here that I had gotten for Mother's Day, but something is eating them because we don't have a fence around the garden, but that's okay. And these are sad too. We got these for free from the, from the place we pick our strawberries at, but this one's flowering. These are banana peppers. So that's this garden. I'll take you down to where our pumpkins are. All right, don't mind the weeds. This is one of our pastures that the pigs were in. Um, they did a nice till job for me. So not all of this is obviously pumpkins. <laughs> But this is one of the pie pumpkin plants. And then there's weeds all around it, which they'll eat. We basically, we're hoping to get something out of this. They fertilize, they tilled for us. Um, if we get pumpkins, that's cool. I planted watermelons and cantaloupe out here too. Yeah, we got a lot of bugs that are eating stuff. Just too bad, but. This area gets kind of neglected. Oh look, somebody planted corn for us. Rogue corn. There's more pie pumpkins. And then these are the jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, the bigger pumpkins that we planted. Those are doing really well. And... Um... I had marked some of the watermelon because they weren't doing very well and I didn't want the kids to step on them because they don't all know what's a weed and what's a plant. So these are the watermelon. I think they just need some water. They might have gotten started a little late. And then these are some sad seedlings that I had started in the basement and forgot about, so I brought them out to be planted. This is the only butternut squash that grew, but it's doing pretty well, so hopefully we'll at least get some. And then I brought Kylie and Colin out here and we planted cantaloupe seeds. We direct sowed them and these are doing really well. Hopefully they'll keep growing and won't have too much competition from all the grass and weeds that are growing out here, but this entire, I don't know, square is planted with them. Be careful where I step. Here's some more. They've, these were transplants and they're doing well. Oh. That's just kind of fun. Take you over to the hoop house. All right, this is the hoop house. So these are the tomatoes that are being overtaken by grass. So we just need to mulch in here. Got my drip lines running now. I think these were bigger tomatoes. I think they were like delicious or something like that. This one's got a a flower on it. We ordered trellising kits, um, but we probably won't have them until towards the end of this month, end of July, which is, hopefully it'll be okay. <clears throat> These were cherry tomatoes. They're supposed to be bushier, bush cherry tomatoes. So hopefully they won't need to be trellised. All along the middle, I planted Amish paste in San Marzano. Um, on the outside is San Marzano, and this is all Amish paste tomatoes, and they're doing really well. I went through and pulled suckers a couple days ago. I've been trying to do it every few days. 
These were eggplants that we got started from another greenhouse. They uh, don't look like they're doing great, but it is what it is. Um, these were all peppers. I got kind of a mix. I think all of my tags have disappeared, so I don't exactly remember what's what, but I know I had planted um, orange bell peppers and a bunch of nata peños, which are a variety that tastes like jalapeno, but um, doesn't have the heat. And then down on the end, we had gotten a couple of, oh, what's the name of these? Um, habanero peppers. So those are doing really well. There's one and another one. And we planted, we started our own marigolds, which should be flowering soon, I hope. So those are the marigolds in between the Amish paste tomatoes. And it's really hot in here, so I might even vent this more than it is. But for whatever reason, I think it's probably just, maybe I didn't put as much fertilizer in. I don't know. These pepper plants are a lot slower to start than the tomatoes are. But I can show you what they started as, because I still have a whole bunch of starts that I did nothing with. This is how little they were when they started, and I don't think these have grown at all. These are just the leftovers that we started from seed, and they've just been sitting out here. Every once in a while I water them. But this is what they all looked like when we put them in the ground. All right.